It sounds fascinating. In addition to the well-known Big Bang that gave birth to our visible universe, there is supposed to have been another Big Bang. Scientists have now presented a new study that calls the previous standard cosmological model into question. This second Big Bang produced a dark parallel universe, which is now the realm of dark matter and dark energy. What does this mean for our cosmology? And are we now finally discovering the true nature of the universe? The study, Dark Matter and Gravitational Waves from a Dark Big Bang, was brought to the world by U.S. researchers Catherine Fries and Martin Wolfgang Winkler. It presents a fascinating idea that opens up completely new perspectives on the origins of the universe and the nature of dark matter. This study proposes that in addition to the well-known Big Bang, which is considered to be the beginning of the universe, another event could have taken place. A dark Big Bang, through which all dark matter came into the world. The linchpin of this groundbreaking new theory is primordial nucleosynthesis, or Big Bang nucleosynthesis. It refers to the process that took place in the very first minutes after the Big Bang, when the universe was still extremely hot and dense. At this time, the light elements hydrogen and helium were formed. According to the standard model of cosmology, traces of lithium and beryllium were also present. This process was practically the birth of the entire chemical composition of the universe. In their study, Fries and Winkler found evidence that immediately after this primordial nucleosynthesis, another significant event took place that other scientists have so far overlooked. The birth of the dark universe. This hypothetical event would finally be the long-awaited explanation for the creation and existence of dark matter. This mysterious substance is said to make up a large part of the mass in the universe. However, it cannot be observed directly, even with our best technological capabilities, as it does not produce or reflect light and emits no measurable radiation. It is therefore a phantom of the universe and of science. If we can one day perceive or measure it, we could find a complete dark universe that exists parallel to and together with our visible world. A second Big Bang? Catherine Fries and Martin Wolfgang Winkler are astrophysicists at the University of Texas at Austin, and they both work closely with the Oscar Klein Center of Cosmoparticle Physics at Stockholm University in Sweden. To fully grasp their groundbreaking theory of the dark Big Bang and its true meaning, let's look at the idea in the context of the conventional Big Bang. The Big Bang is currently the predominant scientific model to explain the origin of our cosmos and the events in the earliest universe. However, the Big Bang was not actually a real bang or explosion in the conventional sense, but rather a sudden expansion process in which the universe expanded from a single tiny point as an extremely hot and dense plasma and has continued to expand ever since. The starting point was 13.8 billion years ago in the first moments after the Big Bang, the universe was in a state of extreme heat and density. Matter and energy were still inseparable. As the universe continued to expand and cool down, the basic building blocks of matter, such as quarks and electrons, were born. Just a microsecond after the Big Bang, quarks came together to form protons and neutrons, and a few minutes later, the primordial nucleosynthesis described above took place which was the basis for the formation of the first light atomic nuclei. This is how the universe is said to have remained for around 380,000 years. A hot primordial soup, extremely dense and still very hot. Particles wafted through space, but the high energy and density kept free electrons and photons trapped in a plasma. Only when the universe had cooled down sufficiently were electrons and nuclei able to combine to form neutral atoms a process known today as reionization, through which the universe became transparent. Since this time, light has been able to travel freely through the cosmos, and we know the remnants of this event today as the cosmic microwave background radiation. The Big Bang coherently explains the general expansion of the universe, the formation of the first elements, and the distribution of galaxies in the universe. Nevertheless, this scenario left many questions unanswered. One of the biggest questions was how dark matter and dark energy were actually created, which together make up about 95% of the universe. This 
brings us to the Dark Big Bang. The theory begins with the onset of the inflation of the cosmos, immediately after the traditional Big Bang. During this phase, a particle, called an inflaton, a hypothetical particle with enormous energy and negative pressure, may have played a key role. During this inflaton, into ordinary matter and radiation, a third building block may have formed dark matter. This decay triggered the second dark Big Bang, which took place about 10 to the power of negative 35 seconds after the first Big Bang. What sounds simple at first had monumental consequences. Not just one dark matter particle was created, but several, some of which could be incredibly massive. Up to 10 to the power of 19 electron volts, about 10 billion times heavier than a proton, or so Fries and her colleague Winkler speculate in their study. This idea of massive dark matter particles would open up completely new horizons in the world of astrophysics. Another fascinating aspect of the two scientists' work is the asymmetry of the dark Big Bang. It possibly produced more dark matter than anti-dark matter, which may explain why the universe contains more matter than antimatter. The thesis would thus solve another great mystery of cosmology. The study puts the previously valid standard cosmological model to the test, although it does not shake up the Big Bang itself. Instead, the work offers a completely new perspective on the history and structure of the universe. Fries and Winkler are convinced that massive dark matter particles could generate gravitational waves that could be detected by future experiments such as the laser, interferometer, space antenna. If this is true, we would have a way to observe and study interactions between dark and ordinary matter for the first time. This hypothesis of the dark Big Bang is an exciting one and may finally put us on the long-awaited trail of this mysterious matter. Dark matter could be the key to many unsolved mysteries of the universe, including the existence of life. Mysterious Substance Discovered did you know that the discovery of dark matter actually took place in the 1930s? The physicist and astronomer Fritz Wicke was investigating the Coma Galaxy Cluster, which is over 300 million light years away from us, when he discovered something astonishing. The laws of mutual attraction of visible matter known at the time were far from sufficient to hold the galaxy cluster together at the speeds measured. There had to be another mysterious force responsible for this. Zwicky then postulated the existence of additional matter that is not visible, but stabilizes the galaxy cluster through its gravitational pull. At the time, Zwicky shocked his colleagues and his ideas of invisible or dark matter met with fierce rejection. This was to change abruptly in the 1960s when astronomer Vera Rubin made another discovery that did not fit into the cosmic picture at all. In spiral galaxies, the density in the central regions is significantly higher than in the outer regions. According to the usual laws of motion dynamics in the universe, the orbital velocities of the stars should decrease towards the outer regions. However, Rubin saw something else and came to the conclusion that there must be additional matter within the galaxies that is not visible at first glance. Most physicists now agree that this previously unknown form of matter must exist in the cosmos. However, what this dark matter consists of is still unclear. Cosmological models can be used to calculate fairly precisely which chemical elements emerged from the Big Bang. The theory of researchers Catherine Fries and Martin Wolfgang Winkler adapted their new idea of the dark Big Bang to this scheme. In elementary particle physics, there were indications that dark matter could consist of axions which have hardly any mass and interact via the electromagnetic force, in addition to gravity. This was discovered during studies on dark matter in the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva. The Energy of Galaxies? There is an invisible force that is driving the universe apart faster and faster, contrary to scientists' expectations. This discovery turns our understanding of the cosmos on its head and has led to a complete reassessment of theories about the expansion of the universe. Around 15 to 20 billion years ago, the universe was created by the Big Bang and has been expanding ever since. For a long time, scientists assumed that this expansion was slowed down by the gravity of the matter contained in the universe. 
However, observations of distant galaxies and supernovae in the 1990s revealed something unexpected. The expansion of the universe is actually accelerating. To explain this phenomenon, physicists introduce the idea of dark energy, a mysterious form of energy that counteracts gravity and accelerates the expansion of the cosmos. Dark energy can certainly be integrated into Einstein's equations of general relativity. Einstein originally introduced the cosmological constant to describe a static universe. However, he later rejected the idea when observations showed that the universe was expanding. Today, the cosmological constant is used in a modified form to explain the accelerated expansion of the universe. Despite these approximations, the nature of dark energy is a similar mystery to dark matter. One theory is that it's related to the vacuum energy of space, which constantly creates and destroys particles according to quantum field theory. However, theoretically calculated values of the vacuum energy showed strong differences to the experimentally determined values. The vacuum in space could be closely linked to dark energy and dark matter, but here too, scientists have come up against their limits. As we cannot simply wander into space and investigate a vacuum, all considerations must remain experimental. Albert Einstein once suggested that the vacuum of space could be a gigantic energy store, the true nature of which we have not yet understood. Scientists also investigating alternative theories, such as the possibility of a dynamic dark energy that has changed over time. Scientists are also investigating alternative theories, such as the possibility of a dynamic dark energy that has changed over time. What is exciting in this context is the fact that certain effects in space that were previously explained by dark matter or dark energy can also be described in alternative ways. The modified Newtonian dynamics MOND adjust the laws of gravity on cosmic scales and suggest that they are not the same everywhere. It's crazy, but maybe there is neither dark matter nor dark energy. In which case, there would, of course, have been no dark Big Bang. ESA launched the Euclid Space Telescope in November 2023. Euclid will scan and image the entire visible sky in an unprecedented operation. The aim of the mission is clearly to track down dark matter. Want to see many more exciting videos? Then subscribe now!